Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it today. Today, I wanted to talk to you about a few different ID cards that you can get by being a disabled veteran. And I'm gonna tell you right now that on the VA's website, they are wrong with one of these ID cards. And uh, it's actually kind of sad. So I, I wanna make sure that we get this information out there. And that's why I'm, I'm letting you know now that one of these things is incorrect and I am going to give you some additional information on that, hopefully enough to get you down the right path. So on the VA's website specifically, it says types of veteran ID cards. It says there are many types of identification cards you can use to show you're a veteran. You only need to have one of them for this purpose. Learn about the different types of VA ID cards and other veteran ID options. So the first one here, it says Department of Defense identification card. So remember, the Department of Defense is different than the Department of Veterans Affairs, right? Two different departments. So VA does not issue a Department of Defense ID card. They only issue Department of Veterans Affairs ID cards. So anyway, um, this is the one that they're wrong on. And I'm going to jump back to this one at the, in, in a moment. The next one that they talk about here is the Veterans Health Identification Card. And um, on here, this one says, when you're enrolled in VA healthcare, you'll get a Veteran Health Identification Card, VHIC, a VIC, and this uh, will uh, this will be the card that you use when you check in at your VA appointment and what have you. Uh, everybody knows what, what that is, or most people know. It's, it's your VA card is what we usually call that. Um, it says, you may also use this card to get discounts offered uh, to veterans at many stores, yada, yada. So... Basically, any of these you can use for, you know, you're going to uh, Home Depot or Lowe's and you need to get a veteran discount or, uh, you know, many uh, restaurants will have a, a military discount. They mostly just mirror the senior citizen uh, discount. So, but uh, that should be another video is just the discounts. Don't forget them because they do add up. Uh, next one is veteran ID card. And this one says veteran ID card, VIC which is VIC, is a digital photo ID that you can use to get discounts, uh, that can be used to get discounts for veterans at many stores, businesses, and restaurants. When you have this card, you won't need to carry around your military discharge papers or sharing sensitive personal information to get discounts, and you don't need to request um, another type of photo ID card to prove that you're a veteran or uh, get the, the retail or business discount. So for that, uh, that is a card that is issued from the VA. You can't use it for healthcare or anything like that. It's just simply stating that they, the VA, have verified that you are a veteran and they have your picture on it and uh, your branch of service. And uh, that can be issued from the VA. And then the next one is uh, veteran's designation on a state issued driver's license or ID. It says at this time, all 50 states and Puerto Rico offer veteran designation uh, printed on state-issued driver's licenses or IDs. This type of veteran designation may, ver may vary from state to state. If you have a veteran designation, uh, you will be able to get discounts you know, offered at many stores and businesses, restaurants, that type of stuff. So in other words, it's just another way uh, in which you can prove that you're a veteran. And by having veteran designation on your driver's license, it means that you have supplied someone with proof that you are a veteran, which is all great, right? So all this stuff's great. But I wanted to go back to, and this is the whole purpose of this video, the Department of Defense identification. And I'm going to read to you what the VA says, uh, and then I'm going to tell you how they're wrong. So it says here, a Department of Defense identification card is used to show your military status and to get access to services at military bases. You may also use this card to get discounts offered to veterans at many stores, businesses, and restaurants. If you have a DOD identification card, you don't need to request another type of photo ID card to prove that you're a veteran or to get retail or business discounts. Then it says, am I eligible? Well, first, let's back up real quick. It said here that uh, you can use that card, and of course you can, to get access to services at military bases, and the other ones didn't say that. However, a few years ago, uh, law went into place, I believe it was through the Mission Act, if I remember right, that allowed any disabled veteran access to commissaries, PX, 
uh, MWR stuff. So you can get onto bases and utilize the gas station, the commissary, uh, you know, whatever, the gym, do that type of stuff. Now, that went into effect and what is being used for that identification to get onto the bases is your veteran health identification card. And what will happen will be is if you have a base near you, you need to go to that base, present your VA ID, right? Your veteran health care uh, identification card, present that to them. They'll run a soft background check on you. And then I believe, and I could be wrong, that that is good, A, either indefinitely for you, once that first initial background check goes through, uh, or it's an annual thing that you have to update. And I think it's base specific. So you do it at one base, uh, you'll have to go do it at another base with their uh, military police or security forces or whatever you got there. So that is getting on with the veteran healthcare identification card. You can take your spouse um, you know, with you on the base uh, to go to the commissary, that type of stuff, which is all great. But back to the DOD card, um, the qualifications here, it says in order to have a DOD ID, it says you may be eligible if one of these descriptions is true for you. You're retired from the military or you're on active duty or you're in the National Guard, the reserves, the selected reserves or inactive ready reserves. Then there's a note and it says, depending on your status, the DOD issues either a common access card or a uniformed services ID card. For both types of DOD cards, you'll need to either be a sponsor or have a sponsor. So you either need to be the one who qualifies or you're getting one for a spouse or significant other. Then it tells you now, okay, so now I'm gonna stop there. So not true. So the three bullets here are military related. However, I am not retired. I'm obviously no longer in the military and I have, and, and I know many of you do too, but this is not for everybody, right? So, so there's mine, right? So that's me. I have a military ID and it says there, whatever it says, right? So 100% disabled veteran, right? Indefinite. So it lasts forever. And says the Marine Corps on there and all that good stuff. And this is the new DOD. They used to be, you know, the old ones. Everybody remembers the old ones, I'm sure, where here's the card, your picture's in the middle, and then it's flanked by, you know, the branch of service. And I think, I don't know, the uh, presidential crest or something on the other side. I can't remember. But anyway, that paper one that was laminated has gone away. And now this is the new uh, version. And this came out, I don't know, maybe two years ago. So as a 100% disabled veteran, you are eligible for a DOD ID card. Now, it used to be that we, the 100% permanent and total kind of group, uh, were the only ones, or maybe even just 100%, were the only ones that were allowed access to the military bases. Uh, unless you were retired or or a reservist or something, uh, but uh, that went away. So this is still allowed for the 100% rated veterans. And what's great about this card is that your spouse and dependents can also get one. So where it's different than the veteran's health care uh, card, right? Where you can get on base, you can bring your spouse, but you have, your, you have to go with them. So with the, if you're 100% and you get your DOD card and you sponsor your spouse or your dependent children, they now have access to the base uh, to go to commissary, you know, whatever, PX, that type of stuff. Um, so... It's a great additional benefit. Um, it's, it's nice to have. And uh, let's see here. So here it says, I'm on a couple different websites. So the military wallet, um, it says that uh, to get the DOD ID card, that uh, there are a few exceptions given to certain veterans who meet the following criteria qualifications, such as Medal of Honor recipients, 100% disabled veterans, former members in receipt of retirement pay, obviously, um, and uh, some others. So uh, here it talks about that. And then also, um, 
what was the other one? Military One Source talks about it as well. Uh, and obviously, like I, I just showed you, I have I have mine, right? So what you should do is you can go, you can Google Google search uh, Deer's ID scheduling, uh, and then on there, and I'll I'll try to put a link in there. Um, ID card office online uh, through the Department of Defense. And there's an ID card office locator and appointments, and you can schedule an appointment online. You show up. All I did was I showed up to my my local base, and uh, brought my DD214, brought my proof of being 100%, presented that to them. They took my my rank and all that good stuff, threw that on my ID card, and um, uh, put on their 100% disabled. Now, what's great is is that. This now uh, essentially affords you all of the same benefits as a retiree, minus the retirement pay, of course. Um, but you know, getting your spouse and all that type of stuff uh, hooked up with um, with uh, uh, their own card, so they can get on base. And obviously, it doesn't include Tricare. This is just an ID card, but it gets get your family connected and uh, uh, able to get on and off of base if you're near one. Uh, so nice to have. So, in any case, I'll go ahead and end it there. Thanks so much. I appreciate you. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.